Hello, this is Elaine Sugar, award-winning children's program facilitator and overall supporter of children's dreams. Welcome to the Empower Teen Self-Esteem Podcast. We bring you ideas and resources that help teens shine and help ease parents' minds. Welcome to this episode of Empower Teen Self-Esteem. I am delighted to talk to our guest, Rob Howes. He has been a supporter of us and our nonprofit organization since last year. He's always out there doing positive, wonderful things and has a lot of experience in working with children and teens. So this is going to be a great episode. But before we start talking to Rob, I want to welcome back my occasional guest host, Bolu. Hello, Bolu. Hi, Elaine. How are you? I am good. Just as a refresher, remind our audience who you are. So hi, everyone. Once again, my name is Bolu Adefemi. I'm a 15-year-old singer-songwriter from Canada. Um, Yeah, I write inspirational music, um, and I'm so happy to be here. Yay, we love having you. So Rob, I know you have all good kind of interesting things to talk to us about today, but before we get into our topic, tell our listeners a little bit about you. Wow. Well, my name is Rob Howes and, you know, I am a person who just loves wellness, mind, body, and soulful, spiritual wellness, meaning Mm. how healthy, how good can you be with your mind, with your thinking, with your body, with your feelings, with your thoughts, with your actions? Like, how good can we be? Like, how do we maximize and become our greatest self ever? That's kind of what I've been on the exploration of my whole life. And so I get a chance on that journey. You meet extraordinary people doing the same thing, like you two. And this is (laughs) going to be a great conversation, I'm sure. It (laughs) is, for sure. So now go down the list and specifically tell people some of the things you're involved in because you are multi-talented. So tell us some of the specific things that you do. Yeah, so I, I tell you, when, when it comes to young people, teens, families, the greatest thing that I've ever been a part of was, you know, my wife and I started a nonprofit called Worldwide Community, which gave birth to a program called Camp Fit, which was just geared towards uh, elementary, middle school, high school, young people, mental, physical, spiritual training camps, after school programs, giving away scholarships, just help. You know, when you think about the goals that you want in life and then you map out ways to actually accomplish them, somehow you get an 80% chance of getting that better. Mm -hmm. So we actually teach that goal setting, goal achieving. And it was just amazing. Then it turned into a TV show. The camp fits or the program. So we we figured this was like, you know what? This is so good. We feel so selfish keeping it to ourselves. Like the world has to see this. Mm-hmm. So eight weeks became eight episodes. We So it was eight episodes for the season and we did five seasons and we literally just videoed everything. And you get you got to see transformations. I'm talking about kids' self-esteem rising, pounds dropping off. People, young people who came in feeling a certain kind of way about themselves, leaving mm-hmm. out to go get scholarships to school and then coming back to being mentored to others. We got to capture that on videos called Camp Fit. And so watching the growth of that and being a part of that, who wouldn't want to do that? So, Mm -hmm. you know. (laughs) Awesome. That's amazing. It is. It is. And I see you singing for so many different things, including you, you, you sang a song for me for our event last year. It was the cutest thing. It's called, uh, I can make a funny hat like that. Uh, <laughs> we were just encouraging. <laughs> we, <laughs> we I were did just a TikTok to that sound. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we, we were just having some fun and encouraging kids to join us. And mm. that was a song. That, that was so uh, fun. Yeah, that oh, was wow. fun. I love that. He, he doesn't know it yet, but we're going to do something else again this year. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. So this show is all about offering suggestions, advice, direction, resources to teenagers and their parents. So what are some of the things that you would offer up uh, based on your experience? Well, first thing is, you know, give the opportunity to be creative. 
right? And but that and dream out. See, Puff Daddy had a great qu quote. He said, "Close your eyes and dream, then open your eyes and see." Hmm. And so, so many times we don't close our eyes to get that dream, to actually envision it, to visualize it, to bring it to actuality. So that's the first step. We got to start dreaming and really thinking, using that the, we have these superpowers, imagination mm -hmm. and memory, right? No other creature on the planet has that. And so we got to use that to really harness the truth and the purpose from within us so that it can come out. I would say start there, right? That's the first step. And that's the first step we do, you know, with our programs. Mm -hmm. That's why we have those vision boards and those goal setting books. Because if you can, listen, if you can write it, you can live it. Mm -hmm. right? If you can hold it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. I love it. Right? Wow. So. Awesome. Now, what do you say to parents who sometimes have this kind of... Um, maybe more structured, strict mm. idea of what yeah. their children should be doing or what their plans should be when they grow up. And you have some young people who fall into the more creative artsy space. Oh. And maybe that was not the ideal. Sometimes their parents just, just mm. struggle with, but I don't think you're going to, and I don't think parents are being mean or anything. Mm -hmm. They they want their Realistic. children to, to be yeah. able to, Right. to support themselves right yeah. and they mm -hmm. know that things cost money and i think when they hear that children are spending their time or they're dreaming of things that mm -hmm. aren't always associated with money they get yeah. kind of concerned what yeah. are your thoughts about that when children are creating and exploring and dreaming oh i think a great man said uh imagination is more is is uh who's that is that either it's either um walt disney uh Imagination is more important than intelligence, you know? ah. and if you, if you think about that, you know, for parents, it's important to understand that our guidance has to be there. That's what we do. We're here to guide. Mm. At the same time, an open mind opens doors, and we have to realize that we don't, you, you, you don't parent the way your parents did. True. So there is an evolution of thinking, meaning mm -hmm. a person's creativity is connected to their critical thinking. As a matter of fact, when we work with organizations to make them be better critical thinkers, we have creative exercises because creativity then opens the imagination, which helps with critical wow. thinking. I love it. <laughs> so you, you, you want to harness that, you yes. know? Yeah. You know what? That is a very good point. And you know, to take it back to that, that's the reason why when we go into these brainstorming sessions, we tell people, just throw out ideas. Don't mm -hmm. criticize. Don't stop the flow. Just yep. let mm -hmm. everybody just throw it out and, mm -hmm. and don't apply all of the analytics and stop the yeah. that creative part of the process. So that's a great point. Yeah, that's good. What What, what is that called when is it improv? What is it? You, yeah, yeah. When right. you just go in this uh, off off cuff, right? No right. practice, nothing rehearsed. Yes. And all you say is yes to everything. Uh -huh. It stops if you say no. If you long oh. as you say yes, it continues, and everybody can pick up. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's it, it kind of serves your point. Like just be creative. Just don't stop what's coming yeah. out. You know, take a look. Take a look at it. Analyze it. But yeah, that's. You know, that's, that's tough for parents. Even as an open-minded parent myself, I'm still mm -hmm. finding myself, you know, having to still loosen up even more. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm, I'm growing and learning. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, you have this, you know, idea of, you know, guidance. And mm -hmm. we just have to be flexible with yeah. that and not rigid. Flexibility lasts. Think about it. If your body's rigid, your muscles are going to tear. The more flexible you are, the longer and the longevity you have. Yeah. Flexibility is important. <laughs> Excellent point. So what do you think are some of the more important messages that you have for teens or their parents that you want to make sure that you share? You know, I think that, number one, being financially literate, starting to understand money, how it works, how to use it, like understanding that and also having a goal. So working on the most important things, you know, your purpose and understanding finance. I mm -hmm. think those two are very important 
the reason why I say that is because if you don't understand how money works, if you don't understand finance, you'll start misusing it and it will become a hindrance in your life, which will then cause stress and a whole bunch of other things that derive from it. Mm. So we'll just get it together now, right? I, I think those are like my son right now. You know, he's not in college full time, but he's taking a couple courses, but he's also going to be doing Toastmasters and he has a business, an editing business that we're working oh, through wow. while he's reading some books on business. Oh. He's also studying stoicism because that's the philosophy that really piqued his interest. And so we have these different buckets and I'm mm -hmm. letting him do his thing, but I still get in and guide. Like yeah. I'll still get in and say, okay, so what's your timeline for the things you said you want to do? Mm -hmm. And I, did, I just keep, I keep him to the timeline he set. Oh. You said it, but I'm going to keep you to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love That's that. That's excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. So have you thought about some of the things that you have done with children and you've continued to grow, right? And learn, learn as a person. And you look back and say, oh, wow. Back when I was doing that, I didn't even know this. And now I've learned this. I think about when I first started um, teaching children self-esteem building classes, I hadn't learned some of the positive psychology mm -hmm. um, things that I know now. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even understand back then how the mm -hmm. brain responds to positive thinking. Mm -hmm. And so now I incorporate that in, into what I've learned. Have you had one of those aha moments where, because yep. we all continue oh, learning, was well, like, yep. oh my goodness, I know that now. And if I would have known that mm -hmm. then, what yeah. some of those aha moments for you? <laughs> well, first of all, I have a scroll of those, okay? I can let the <laughs> scroll roll out on all those things that I look back on. But it's one that sticks out to me. And Bolo, you appreciate this because it's <laughs> just breathe. You know, oh. you, got a, you got a beautiful song. And Thank I realized you. the power of breath. Yeah. I realized like today, if mm -hmm. I'd have known now, if I didn't know then what I know what I know now about I have this thing called a power pause. Mm -hmm. And so before when you get upset and you get energized or something happens, before you respond, before you send the email, take a power pause. Mm -hmm. I taught the kids this, right? And it's just five seconds in through through the nose. Mm -hmm. And then five seconds out through the mouth. Reset the nervous system and you make a better decision every single time. Awesome. I love that. But I didn't even use, I didn't use it. Yeah. <laughs> I was not using it as much as I was teaching it. Yeah. And I realized as of late, right around 2020, mm -hmm. I really need to incorporate breathing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was an interesting time. I know we all had an interesting time in 2020. Yeah. Yep. For okay? sure. Okay. First Kobe dies. I was like, oh my gosh, it can't get worse. And then boom. I'm like, oh mm -hmm. my goodness. I was in LA when Kobe, I was in LA going to a game. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, my that year was just oh. unbelievable. So I had to learn how to breathe. Wow. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to center myself, take walks, and really be present because that's the gift. Awesome. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. just the same word for the for that reason. The present is really the gift. And if you can get settled in that present, like when you're anxious, it's because you're thinking about something in the future. When you're depressed, it's like something in the past that's holding you down. Mm -hmm. When you're present, you breathe. I was like, wow, that really helped me. Because okay. now, okay, I'm not just responding from this stress unit, right? Mm, yes, <laughs> yeah. You know, and so um, I think things things worked out a lot better. So oh, breathing, awesome. answer Yay. your question. That was the aha. Like, wow, how powerful <laughs> that is. Yeah. How powerful is breath? Yeah, awesome. Bolu, let me just have... hop in here with any questions you have. Yes, I actually do have a question. I wanted to ask you, like, what if you have a specific moment um, that inspired you to, I don't know, like be interested in wellness? Like, what got you into mm. wanting to learn and help others? Mm. That's a great question. No one's ever actually asked me that question before. Ah, really? yay. Yeah. <laughs> we get an wow. exclusive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know, it's, I have multiple answers that I'm going to condense into one, which would be, remember in the beginning, I said, I really have this desire to help people, people. become their greatest self. Yeah. Yes. Well, I realized by becoming my greatest self is the fastest route to doing that. Mm. Ah. So that drew me to the interest of learning 
in the area of the mind. So studying psychology, child psychology, neuroscience, um, the soul. I was a pastor for 10 years and mm -hmm. loved it and still study theology. Um, the body. I was a personal trainer for years, working with kids and programs. And oh, so wow. it's like at every level, there's something else to learn. So then I could be this healthy is the new wealthy kind of person, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, great question. So it was my, it was my hunger for knowledge and education and wisdom about the things I needed to know to awesome. be the person that I wanted to be. Wow. Fantastic. I love the question, Bolu. Good Thank one. you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to touch on this music again, because I've seen you involved in some pretty powerful things here recently. I'm scrolling on LinkedIn one day, and I see you in this beautifully produced video uh -huh. with this great music, encouraging people to give there was this day of giving and oh, i loved it wow. so i want you to tell us about that and then yeah. i saw you on an interview and you were talking about this very important film that was made mm -hmm. and your song ended up being incorporated so i want you to tell us about wow. both of those because i was <laughs> so impressed oh my goodness well first uh thank you and what a blessing to be a part of stuff like that, you know, because without the internet, this wouldn't be possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Jacqueline Way, who decided, this wonderful woman decided to teach her mm -hmm. son how to give. Mm -hmm. I want to teach my son how to give. He was like three at the time. And so we'll, we'll just give every day. They made a project of it. We'll give every day. We'll give to either a person, animals, or the planet. So they will go out to the beach, pick things up, give to people, all this good stuff. Well, next thing you know, neighbors wanted to do it. Schools wanted to do it. 500 schools all over the world are doing it now. Yep. Thousands and thousands of people are doing it. Wow. On one day, everybody give. It's called 365 Give. Hashtag do one give. Do whatever you wanted that day. Mm -hmm. So we wrote a song. I said, got to write a song for this thing. Mm -hmm. My daughter, my wife, myself, we rocked out. And so now that's the song, the theme song for the movement. Great. Okay. It, and it gets even better. So I keep, I, I meet these great people. So you know, one day I'm on, I'm online, Lisa Nichols, I love Lisa Nichols mm -hmm. in, in the secret. And I think that's where I got first introduced to her and just yeah. all her stuff ever since. Great story. Well, she had this, uh, this wonderful project. Um, and, um, uh, what, what the heck? Let's see. Cause I, I did a couple songs. I did, I did, I did a couple songs. Let, let me, let me, let me actually go to my iTunes because, you know, go right ahead. what's interesting is how. I got Extra You, which was, uh, if you want to be extraordinary, mm -hmm. if you want to be, just be a little extra ordinary. I was like, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Just a little, a little extra. That's little what it's extra. Is. You can put a little extra on your ordinary. So that was one song I did for her. But the other one, the other one was Let's Grow. Mm. Let's Grow. And Let's Grow was a movie. It was a short film. Mm -hmm. And it was basically to really highlight Blacks and whites and what we're what we're going through, the, the social the social injustice, yeah. you know, waking to that, seeing both perspectives, the white guy on one side of the table, black guy on the other side of the table, going Beautiful. back and forth, but at the to, towards the end, coming to the understanding that we just have to hear each other. Oh, it's so wow. beautiful. And this wow. is how we get things accomplished by hearing. God gave us two ears, one mouth, twice exactly. as much. Exactly. Ah. Right. <laughs> It sounds so, like something parents would say. <laughs> <laughs> you just dated yourself. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> but we do need to grow. We that's true. Grow, yes. You know, and that's the name of the movie was Let's Grow. So the song was called Let's Grow. And awesome. the last wow. thing you saw was the 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 uh, making of an entrepreneur doc, docu series. The making of an entrepreneur docu series. Absolutely phenomenal. Shea Brown does. Just tremendous work. He, he's highlighting, you know, the works of entrepreneurs and what they go through and what it takes. A lot of yes. times people need to see the inside under the hood just a little bit mm -hmm. to really get a clear understanding. It's, it's helpful. Mm -hmm. That's how I've grown so much. Just, awesome. You know, YouTube University being a fly on the wall, <laughs> right? Yes. What you say I learned, mm -hmm. I'm looking for what I need to know. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah no that's uh, awesome oh go ahead Bolu oh I was just gonna say on that topic do you have like um 
what was the first song that you've ever written and like your inspiration ah, behind that? Good question. <laughs> you know, I don't actually know the first song I ever wrote. Get out of here. You don't remember <laughs> that, Rob. Well, it was, okay. Well, it was, it was, mama used to say, don't you take your time. It was corny. It was corny. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, Wait a minute. Hold on. You I mean, Wait, Rob, stop the presses. You did not write that song. I so I redid. So that's a song, but I read. No. Yeah, I read oh. the lyrics, but it was just so cheesy. Uh, <laughs> so okay, cheesy. the take your time, young man. Song. Yeah, but but I changed the lyrics. <laughs> Mama used to say, and I like changed the words. Oh um, my gosh, I love that. <laughs> a remix. You made a remix. A remix. <laughs> remix that I have tried to forget. Oh my god, <laughs> but, we need but to hear at that. The time, at the time, it was hot. Okay? Uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, I bet it was at that time because mm -hmm. well, then we had tape cassettes, right? Oh, yeah. so how, how it would make beats is I would actually I had two tape cassettes recorders, mm -hmm. so I would, I would play record on one and mm -hmm. make a beat. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Then I would play that and record on this tape, and while that's going boom. I go, <laughs> and I would just keep recording over and over. It sounded oh horrible at the time. It was great because no, wow. that's all we had. Mm -hmm. oh, I made a whole song like that. Funny. <laughs> Bolu, do you know what a cassette tape is? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> a while back, we had a card that, like, instead of putting DVDs, you could put cassette tapes in it. It was okay. such a long time ago, but I, yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just man. wanted to make sure. That is so <laughs> funny. This is so much fun. I have loved this. Rob, I want to make sure before we wrap up that you tell us about anything you didn't get a chance to say yet and then tell us about how people can connect with you what you have coming up how can we support you because you are always doing something positive mm. and i love it thank you and so are you that's why i like talking to you and everything, anything <laughs> you're doing I'm trying, I'm trying to clear my calendar for you <laughs> you know because you know iron sharpens iron mm, and yeah. uh, that's so, true so uh, let me share this so on, on the on the business side so i'm a guy who loves helping people the best way I help people now is if you have a business, you need to add some kind of automation to it. You need to be able to find out how you can take your hands off of doing work and be more yeah. focused on creative things. Remember we talked about creativity? Yes. The more time you have to be creative, the more critical thinking, better everything is. Not just you, but your business. Right. So I have a company, Simply Automate. We teach you how to automate. It's not about selling anything. It's about telling you what you could do to mm -hmm. better your scenario. So Get educated before you get automated. That's our slogan. So that's one. LinkedIn is where you can connect with me, though. Um, and on that profile, I'm posting everything we kind of talked about, you know, empowerment, you know, mindset, moving things, um, technology, intriguing, you know, uh, informative information that's necessary. So I'm feeding whatever I think is beneficial to humans. <laughs> right. It's kind of what I, and then dropping music too. I do music every week. Yes. I do a freestyle <laughs> Friday where I just, you know, I just turn the mic camera on and just start flowing, you know, oh, and uh, I'm working on a song right now. This is, I'm in a really good state. This is a really good state right now. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm feeling blessed by the best to oh, surpass sorry. any test. That's why I'm on this quest. <laughs> you feel mm -hmm. me? Yes. Ooh, yes. Okay. We're, we're all here together. And I really believe the more, let me wrap up. So company, LinkedIn, um, and my last words. The last words is this. If I were able to give any advice, you know, real simple, two things. Hmm. Love yourself. And what that means is that gratitude is the first road in there. So just be grateful for what you have, where you are. That'll, that's the road to loving yourself. Just be grateful. And sit in moments of gratitude. Take that time. Love yourself. Even if life, job, things aren't exactly the way you want. Ah, now you have a journey to go and get. Yeah. Think about life as a journey. But love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Okay? Appreciate you. Do that. Mm -hmm. And number two, love others. Like, um, give. Be helpful. Be, a, be an empathetic listener. You know, it's a new thing. Mm -hmm. I know we all want to be heard, but... See how you can hear someone else out. See how you can help someone else move forward a little bit. What kind of contribution can you make? These two things, I guarantee you, these two things, 
Humanity works on mastering those two elements uh, of themselves and others. We don't have to talk about world peace because world peace comes from inner peace individually, which mm. then creates the collective. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Rob House, <laughs> it took Round us a while to get this all scheduled on the calendar, but things happen the way they, they do for a reason. So yes. we ended up doing this with the three of us, and it has been absolutely beautiful. I had to meet Bolu. Yes, you did. I had it to. was meant to be. So you're just so you have a wonderful spirit. You're you're yes, deep, you does. pleasant, yes, you and you come from a place that is so genuine. Mm. You know, genuine is the new thing. Right. Authenticity is the new thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. people, <laughs> want, people want real. They want yeah. real. That's right. And she okay. is beautiful. I'm always honored when, when I can have her on. So yes, <laughs> both of you, two people I admire, Aww. two very talented, beautiful people. I want to thank you both for joining us. We will put all of your contact information in the show notes, Rob, so people know how to get in contact with you. Aww. Thank you both again for being here today. And to our listeners, thank you so much. And please tune in for the next episode of Empower Teen Self-Esteem. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Empower Teen Self-Esteem. Please follow Kids More Sugar on social media. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel to show that you support this content. And you can visit our website at kidsmoresugar.com to learn more about our free online kids program. Thank you.